Hello, I'd like to uh, demonstrate the benefits of um, culturing grindle worms using uh, scouring pads as opposed to the traditional um, compost or soil uh, base. Um, the reason for this is that I have had experience using soil um, and also more recently um, scouring pads and find that the scouring pads are far uh, superior for various reasons which I will hope to explain uh, later on. Um, the process um, of setting up a culture is pretty straightforward. Uh, you take some cult some um, scouring pads such as these um, and um, you place them into um, a container. In this case uh, I'm using um, an old ice cream uh, container I will be putting some holes in the lid uh, using a needle. Uh, this um, provides uh, small enough holes to prevent um, insects gaining entry. Um, it allows air in and um, it works. Um, so you simply take the uh, pads and place them into the container. Uh, about four or five pads uh, works well. Uh, obviously you make sure that uh, there's no um, detergent or soap on the pads and also give the pads a good clean beforehand um, before using. Um, all you then do is add some worms to the top of the uh, pad and some food. Uh, for food I tend to use uh, ready brick and I have, if I can get the lid open with one hand, I, um, I placed the ready brick in an old uh, container uh, with some holes in the top. It's proving quite difficult to do with one hand. And here we go. And uh, just sprinkle them onto the top. Uh, the benefit of that is that uh, you can control the amount of food and you build up slowly um, spraying with a sprayer to keep the um, culture um, moist. Um, this is one that I haven't set up yet but it's just for demonstration purposes. Here's um, a culture that's actually in progress um, and as you can see I have a plastic cover over the top um, with a knob. Uh, this is a very convenient way of um, lifting up the cover and placing it over the culture. Uh, you might just be able to see the um, grindle worms um, on the cover and feeding the fish is very simple. You just dip the, um, the cover into the water and the, and the worms come off and the rest is history for the worms anyway. So if I can just explain the benefits of uh, the use of scouring pads. Uh, they have an open structure. Um, which does not get s saturated with water um, and therefore air and oxygen can um, circulate um, within the pad. Um, this has uh, various benefits that um, the, the worms obviously produce waste um, and this needs to be broken down by bacteria um, into a, a form that is less harmful. So it's from ammonia to uh, nitrates and nitrites um, and the the pads are ideal for this. Um, they act as a biological filter effectively um, and anyone who keeps fish will appreciate that uh, you would not use a soil or a solid base material um, for a biological filter but the scouring pads uh, seem to work very well. Uh, maintaining the um, culture uh, involves uh, maintaining a um, moist environment. Um, the advantage of the uh, scouring pads is that uh, you cannot saturate them um, and therefore uh, spraying um, even large amounts of water onto the culture uh, does not prove to be harmful and if anything washes the culture through um, any uh, excess water that collects at the bottom of the um, culture can simply be uh, poured off into a convenient um, uh, receptacle such as a plant pot or anything similar uh, and this keeps the uh, culture fresh and clean. 
Um, the other advantage of uh, the scouring pads is that they do not um, appear to um, attract uh, and encourage um, mites and other unwanted uh, visitors to the culture. Um, with a soil culture, um, this can become a real uh, problem, um, and it gets to the stage where the uh, culture has to be um, removed um, as the um, worms can no longer compete with the um, with the mites and the springtails that invade uh, the culture. So here we have the um, aquarium. It is a 260 litre um, tank um, populated with mainly live bearers including platys, um, um, a sawtail or two, um, and um, guppies. Uh, there's also an angelfish and some clown loaches and they all seem to be getting on quite well. I'll now demonstrate uh, feeding uh, the uh, grindle worms to the fish uh, just by dipping in the um, aforementioned pad onto the um, water. And here we go. There you can just see the grindle worms floating to the water and this literally creates a feeding uh, frenzy as the uh, grindle worms are eaten up uh, quite rapidly. Um, and this just demonstrates the one of the other benefits of grindle worm cultures um, with a, um, a scouring pad, the culture comes away um, clean when feeding the fish and there's no contamination of um, compost or soil. Thank you very much for watching and I hope uh, you have found this video interesting and maybe even change your habits of uh, soil cultures to the, um, in my mind, um, better system of um, soilless cultures using scouring pads. Um, good luck and happy culturing. Thank you.